Oh, well, hi. Thanks for watching my video and the first installment of this Barbie series. So, uh, in case you can't tell, this is old Barb's right here, looking pretty pissed off already. I feel like that's really going to set the tone for the real theme of this Let's Play. Being mean to her sister? Of course, of course. So, I thought for this first episode, we're just going to kind of get to know everyone who's going to be in the Let's Play. So, we're going to do a little bit of a um, house party. We've got a brand new house that Barbie lives in. I'll show you around. I'll show you around. Of course I will. I'm not stingy. I tried to make it resemble a doll's house as much as possible. So, this here is the living room. I put a big mirror in there because Barbie is obsessed with the way she looks, as we all know. And then through the corridor... We have, oh, that's Skipper. I'll, in fact, the people that live in this house is uh, Barbie, her teenage sister Skipper, and her child sister Stacy. And I just kind of left it there, really. This is Stacy's room. Yeah, this is Stacy's room. Quite kiddie. She's got a few toys. She can have a few sleepovers. She's got a little friend that you guys will meet later. And then this is the kitchen dining area. We don't really go in here too much because, you know, cooking is for squares. Uh, I think this is the bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. And this here is Skipper's bedroom. Pretty, pretty basic. And this is Barbie's room. Biggest in the house. She insisted. This is where her and Ken get down to business. She's even got little birth control pills here. So uh, she's hoping that this house party goes well. She's hoping to get lucky tonight. So I guess we'll wait and see, won't we? But I think for the time being, let's, let's prepare. So I just realised I forgot to show you guys the garden. This is where the real magic happens. So this is the garden. Got a little swimming pool over here, as you imagine Barbie would. And uh, that in the corner, your eyes do not deceive you, is a bath. That's going to be used rather heavily today. And then just some lounge chairs and some, some stuff for the kids, just to keep them out the way so that the adults can get drunk and whatnot. So I think there's no time like the present. Let's, uh, let's organise a little shindig. The sun is shining. We've already got some groups put together. These are Barbie's best mates, otherwise known as Mihos. Uh, this is Christy, Teresa and Midge, lifelong friends. They live literally across the street. And then we have Ken and Cole. There are a few other people in the mix, but they can come over later. So I'm just going to go ahead and start a gathering. And then we'll get everyone over to the garden. In fact, I might just get Barbie to rustle up a couple of drinks right now, you know? Why not? In fact, fuck it. Just hire a mixologist. We got the money. We don't have to worry. Let's get the music on. What kind of shit would Barbie listen to? Pop, probably. What are you doing? Why are you making a whiskey sour? I thought you hired a mixologist. Oh, you didn't want to wait. Fair enough. Quite a heavy drink. Jesus, look, she just drank straight from the bottle. Quite a heavy drink for a day out in the sun is to have a, a whiskey, but you know, each, each to their own, Barbs. Okay, the mixologist has got here. Let's order drinks for the group. We want everyone to have a drink in their hand. We want a really girly one. Oh, this will get the party going. Get some Long Island iced teas in everyone. Is everyone having a good time? Yeah? That's the important thing. That we're all having a good time. All right, girls, so what's been going on? Midge, how's your mum's back surgery go? Good. Oh, great. Well, should we all have a drink? That's it. Drink up. Drink up. Go on, Barbie. Strawpedo it. If you uh, don't know what a strawpedo is, it's a British way of drinking that's real effective if you want to get drunk pretty quickly. But of course, being a responsible person that I am, I would not recommend you do that, guys. Don't do that. Oh, hey, Teresa. How's it going? How's your leg? Did they catch that badger in the end? Uh, well, we're all praying that they catch him and that justice is served. Also... What the fuck's going on behind your head there with the, uh... Am I the only person that's noticed the alcoholic ghost? I mean, I can't blame him, but... Magical. Oh, look at that reflection in the pool. Hello. That's, uh, that's Cole, by the way. Uh, Teresa's boyfriend. Anyway, we're running out of lemons, so we should probably get some more. <gasps> Skipper! What are you doing? You slag! How dare you come to my party and make it all about you in your by being a little hussy, getting with the other teenage boys just because you've got teenage hormones. You can go fuck yourself, Skipper. All right, you need to sort yourself out. Have some class. Oh, 
fuck this, I need a drink. The thing with Barbie is that, you know, she's a bit of a drama queen. It only takes maybe like one or two drinks for her to, to make everything about her, you know. It's a shame, but it's, it's just the way it is. I do feel sorry for her though, you know. It is quite traumatising when you see a load of teenagers doing things that you really don't want to see them do. Um, I unfortunately have had a similar traumatic experience myself, IRL, where I was walking a dog in a park and it was like a field near my house and it was full of like, we used to call it the crop circle field because it just had a load of bushes everywhere so you couldn't really see, you just had to follow the path, you couldn't like see across the field and um, basically what happened was, I was walking my dog, had my earphones in, listening to music because that's just how I do and uh, turned the corner and saw two teenagers having sex and they were facing away from me so they had no idea that they'd been caught and of course I had no um, hearing because I was listening to music, as I said. And I was so caught off guard that I didn't actually see them until I was right next to them. Like, literally, I was standing about six inches away from them. And my instant reaction was just to just shout. <laughs> so I walked in on these teenagers having it off in a bush and literally just shouted, Oh, God, I didn't know! And then ran away. So, I've got a lot of sympathy for Barbie at the moment, actually. I, I see how she's feeling. I mean, the expression's written all over her face, isn't it? Poor cow. It's never nice accepting your, your baby sister's growing up. She's growing up and getting laid. Oh, this series has only just started and it is so demonetised, man. Why don't we have a little dance? That's right, everyone's having a good time. We're having a nice time, aren't we, everyone? Oh, oh shit, Barbie's had a few drinks. I told you, she cannot go to a party and not, not make it about her. There are kids around Barbie. Kids. <laughs> Everyone's just dancing normally and she's just like, oh yeah. That's what happens when you, uh, when you get really drunk. <laughs> and you're the only one who got really drunk. I have suffered a similar fate where I got really drunk at like a work party and everyone was dancing and you know when I've been drinking I somehow get it in my head that I'm this amazing dancer so I let the dance floor fucking have it when I've had a few drinks. Really start throwing some shapes and in my mind I'm fucking Beyonce or Shakira. Actually what happened the last time I went to a work do got really drunk and decided to show people what I was made of. Uh, my friend came up to me and said that one of the area managers, one of the area sales managers, had got up to her and said, Oh, is that Carla over there? And she said, Yeah. And he went, Ah, oh, I never realised she had that problem with her leg. <laughs> Fucking problem. I don't have a problem with my leg. Fuck does that mean? So I guess that's an indication of, I think me and Barbie are one of the same, really. Yeah, just casual, casual housewarming party. That's just how we do. And I like that our teenage sister is cheering us on as well. You like that, boys? You like that? This is for you. This is for you, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have another drink. That's right, girl, get your shaken and stirred on. She's actually a very good mixologist. This party is popping. What a housewarming. What a housewarming. The trouble is, though, we're getting on for... 1.30 a.m. Barbie's been day drinking all day. She's starting to get like angry. Like, everyone's staring at her like, oh my God, Barbie, you're making such a fool out of yourself. But she has been day drinking all day. And when she's been drinking that much, she, she gets a bit angry. She gets a little bit feisty. And she's still a little bit hurt over what happened with Skipper. I think we're going to go give Kenny a little kiss. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, look at that but we have been drinking, so we're pretty angry. And even though you're a great kisser, you're still a fucking dick. Because I've had one too many drinks, and I'm not gonna stop. You should have had my back there. You should have been having a go at your little teenage boyfriend who was trying to get with my sister. Just taking a look at my own tits there. Yeah, they're good. Nice handful, nice handful. Good, good for you, Bobs. I am sick of you always treating me like a mug. 
Don't be surprised if I cheat on you, limp dick. You know what? That's it. That's it. Party's over. Party's over. Everyone go home. Ending this gathering right now. Have fun, guys. There's a couple of beers in the fridge. Why don't you take a couple for the drive home? Come on, Barbie. Let's go to bed. Well, that was the end of a, a successful day. And I think it's time for... But what are you doing here? Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Didn't even get to use those condoms. Oh, Bye-bye.